As Donald Trump marches to the White House after the most tightly contested US elections, another big event in the US is likely to impact the world markets. The US Federal Reserve will begin its deliberations for the latest monetary policy decisions today on November 6th. The two-day FOMC meeting will be crucial in deciding the next course of action on new benchmark interest rate decision which is to be announced on November 7th. A rate cut could lower borrowing costs, including for mortgages and business loans, giving individuals and companies across the world an incentive to spend and invest. In September, the FOMC voted 11 to 1 to lower the federal funds rate after holding it at over two-decade high for more than a year. It was the US Fed's first rate cut after four years. Economists say policy makers must keep rates high enough to defeat rising inflation without derailing the economy. Now, here are the five key factors to look out for that could impact Fed's decisions. First is the US inflation. US consumer prices rose slightly more than expected in September amid higher food costs, but the annual increase in inflation was the smallest in more than three and a half years. Economists see the core gauge as a better indicator of underlying inflation and future inflation trends than the overall CPI. The Federal Reserve would keep an eye on the inflation numbers. Second in line is the US GDP numbers. The US economy grew solidly in the third quarter with consumer spending increasing at its fastest pace in one and a half years and inflation slowing sharply, continuing to defy recession forecasts. The US GDP increased at 2.8% annualized rate in the third quarter. The world's largest economy grew at a 3% pace in the April to June quarter. Next in line is US unemployment numbers. The unemployment rate was 4.1% and hourly earnings remained firm in October 2024. Notably, a rise in the US unemployment rate to 4.3% in July from 3.8% in March 2024 was one of the catalysts for the US Central Bank's supersized 50 basis points rate cuts in September. US Trade Deficit Now, the US trade deficit surged to two and a half year high in September as businesses boosted imports to meet robust domestic demand and in anticipation of higher tariffs on goods. The trade gap increased 19.2% to $84.4 billion, the highest level since April 2022, from a revised $70.8 billion in August, with exports also falling. With Donald Trump winning the elections, a 60% tariff on Chinese goods is certain, and so is a 10% levy on all other imports. Devaluing the dollar will also be on the cards as the next US debt ceiling deadline expires in January 2025. Last but not the least are crude oil prices. International crude oil prices edged 1% higher to a hit a one-week high on Tuesday. A weaker dollar makes oil less expensive in other countries, which can increase demand for the fuel. Fed Reserve would like to keep these things in mind before making the crucial decision on Fed rate cuts. What do you make out of the entire situation? Do you think the Federal Reserve will cut rates, especially after the Donald Trump victory in the US? Please let us know in the comment section and stay tuned to LiveMint for more such updates.